Hey there, welcome to It's Tea Time, and it's time to spill the tea. Today is day 15. Thank you so much for joining me on my personal daily video. Uh, so what I want to talk about today is actually something that I'm still processing. I'm still working through it, um, but it was a huge revelation for me, and I want to talk about it because... I think it's important and I believe that there are some of you out there who um, might do the same thing. So I recently did a Theta Healing session with my friend Mai and Theta Healing is amazing. So for those of you uh, who have never had it and want to work on shifting your belief patterns, it's really great. And uh, if you're interested in knowing more, you can message me and I can give you some information on the person that I go to because I highly recommend her. Um, but what I want to talk about is, um, do you play victim to receive more love? And for the longest time, I didn't believe that I had this victim mentality. Um, but my boyfriend started telling me that sometimes I play victim and it would make me really upset and it didn't resonate with me. But then I recently did a healing session with my friend Mai for Theta Healing and she asked me two questions. Uh, what would be the worst thing about truly loving myself and what would be the worst thing about truly feeling worthy? And I had to sit and really, really focus on it. And the answers that came up to me, or the answer that came up to me was, I had a fear that if I truly loved myself, or if I truly saw myself as worthy, that the people who love me um, would feel like I no longer needed to be loved uh, because they could see that I loved myself. And so they would be like, well, I, you don't need me then. And then they would leave my life. So then it was like a fear of abandonment, a fear that if I truly loved myself or if I truly saw myself as worthy, then the people who are in my life would feel like I'm strong and I'm, and I'm, they don't, that I wouldn't need them anymore. But that's not true. The thing is, and the revelation that I personally had was if I was in a really good place personally where I truly loved myself and where I truly felt worthy, that the people who are meant to stay in my life will actually love that change within me. And if anything, it would make them love me even more. But it's not that I'm seeking love for them from them, but that's what I was doing before because um, I had an abusive father and I talk about that a lot. And I believe that the belief pattern that I had created and it worked for me was if I played a victim or if I um, shared my sad stories, then people would give me the love and attention that I felt like I wanted and needed. And somehow that worked for me. And so for those of you who maybe do the same thing where you feel like you often like tell sad stories to get people's love and attention. I mean, it works to an extent, but you don't want to be seen as the victim. Um, so I'm still working on it. And when I had this revelation, I was honesty, honestly um, kind of embarrassed, embarrassed and ashamed that I had this thought that I would often um, like share my sad stories to get the attention that I wanted and needed. But here's the thing, I am working on self-love. I've been working on it quite a bit. And I do believe that when I'm in a really strong and solid place within myself, I don't need to seek love and validation um, outside of myself. And of course, like everybody wants to receive love. There's nothing wrong with receiving love nothing wrong, but receiving love in a place where you're healthy, receiving love in a way that's healthy is, is the key. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't be, you know, like having loving people in your life. Abs you should absolutely surround yourself with loving people um, in your life. 
but the the difference is finding the love within yourself and feeling the self-worth within yourself and not going outside of yourself you know to feel loved that's the big key is to find the love within yourself and not seeking for it on the outside so i just wanted to share that with you um for me it was a huge revelation i'm still processing it and working through it because this is a pattern that i've developed since i was a child but i think with any type of change that you want to make within yourself it's all about being aware uh, when you start having this mentality, when it comes into your, you know, your, your, your mind and to be like, stop yourself and be like, I'm doing it. And that is where I feel is the key to being able to shift your perspective, to shift your beliefs. Um, the first thing is one, like, like knowing like this is the issue. And then the next one is being aware that you're doing it and then shifting and changing yourself. So uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, if there are any of you who, can, who like where this relates to you, please like send me a message and be like, this is totally relatable to me. Um, because I really feel like to actually acknowledge that you feel like you need to seek love from the outside, that's actually huge to actually acknowledge that that is something that you do and knowing that you need to work on finding the love within yourself. Um, so for me, this is actually a very vulnerable post. And so thank you for joining me and uh, thank you for um, being here. And I hope that I was helpful for you and uh, I wanna be of support to you. So um, thank you again. Uh, if you like this message, please like it. If you know of anyone that needs to hear this message, please share this message with them. And uh, until tomorrow, thank you again uh, for joining me. Oh, and my gratitude for the day is I'm super grateful for my son. He's uh, back with me for a week and I just love him. He's my love and my light. And it is challenging being a parent, but my son is so wonderful and I'm so blessed and grateful for him. So thank you and until my next video, take care, bye.